Thank you for the opportunity to be able to listen to this little announcements of what I've been up to. To begin with, most of you may not know me. I've been working in the health field for the, about the last 40 years. I've had the opportunity to hold a number of senior management positions. Uh, in the nor a couple of examples are the northern, uh, northern community, uh, northern isolated community in Quebec. I've also had the opportunity to run the Catherine Memorial Hospital Center in, uh, in Ganawage. And I've also had the opportunity to be the senior manager for the Onodogo Healing Lodge in uh, Ganazadagi. Previous to that, I've had the opportunity too to do a number of activities with the Assembly of First Nations where I was the Director of Health. As well, I've had the opportunity to work within the government where I was working at the headquarters of the Health Canada's uh, First Nations and Inuit Health Branch a long, long time ago. Uh, more importantly for your information, I've done a lot of community volunteer work. I've been a full-time firefighter in Gunnawagi for 29 years. I was advisor to the, uh, the Nascapi Fire Department for eight years, and as, as well, I've worked on ambulance since I was a certified ambulance uh, attendant from 1982 to roughly about 20 years. More importantly, what I want to talk with you today is, is that uh, we've learned a lot, and I'm really proud to be here. We have a strong group of program managers as well as staff in the health sector. And we've been very, very fortunate, too, to make sure that we're dealing with a number of good issues that I want you to be aware of. We are presently a part of the uh, Recreational Cannabis Working Task Group. We've been able to give assistance on that in terms of giving direction to allow recommendations to be made by the Mohawk Council itself. We've also had the opportunity, too, to um, involve a number of other networking components. Uh, since I've been over here, we've had the opportunity to develop a five-year strategic plan specific not only to the Department of Health and the Department of Community and Social Services. Uh, we've been very fortunate in having that taken care of. My main focus has always been to capacity build our staff to make them stronger. And believe me, it doesn't take that much because we have a very good group of people here in that component. Other than that, too, we've, uh, we are looking at what are the main things that have happened. Since, uh, my turn, since my involvement over here, there's been an ongoing process that began well before me, and that has basically been the development of a renovations project. Here at Ganaguatza Rio, we will be looking at an expansion, and I'm proud to say, too, that the uh, tenders have gone out, and we will be having some major developments going on there. Also, too, the other point that I wanted to share with is we've had, um, we're coming up to where the spring break should be coming up pretty soon. A message came in from the uh, Akwazasane Non-Insured Health Benefits Program is to make sure that if you are intending to go south, outside of Canada, please consider using uh, supplemental health coverage that could be available. Um, our services basically um, are not covered when you're out of the uh, when you're out of the country, out of Canada, and in fact, the stuff that is covered through your provincial OHIP or QHIP card is very minimal. And I just want to make sure that you're not going to be caught in a situation where you'll need medical support because it's very costly and the responsibility would be borne by yourself for your family. It would be it would then be no longer the responsibility of the government of Canada the Mohawk Council of Akwazasne, nor your provincial health, health procus. I think the other thing that's coming up this time of the year is the flu. Please bear in mind, you know, the community health nursing has put up a lot of points. Please follow them so that you can keep aware of how to prevent being infected by, this, by the flu. And more importantly, follow the precautions so that you and your family will be safe. I think with that in mind, let me say thank you for the opportunity. And Yawagoa. Have a great day. Anna.